guys! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Victoria and uh, today we're gonna talk about glossy box again. Some time ago I filmed a video where I told you guys about my first bad experience with glossy box. And guess what? I finally received the right box. So I actually was thinking, should I make this video or I shouldn't? And then I looked at that products. And guys, I want to do unboxing and try on today. And uh, you will see why. Because I feel like it's gonna be so much fun. Products that I got in this glossy box are super different. Skincare. I have makeup removing cloth. I have a facial mask, clay mask. I have nail polish. Like... A lot of products that are like super different and I feel like it would be fun today to film this video and to try on this product. Here a card that's called woke up in spring so they made it really really fresh looking and it's like all about taking care of your skin and uh, making sure everything is nice that you're ready for spring you're ready for nice warm weather and your skin looks healthy and glowy within and here's what they said brighter days are on the horizon which means it's time for the woke up in spring edition we're all in need of a revival, whether it's about spring cleaning, a new haircut or a fresh beauty routine. Yeah, that's pretty cute. I'd say it's fun. I feel this spring vibe, so that's, that's cool. And guys, let's finally check out these products. I'm holding this like a baby <laughs> because there are a lot of products and box actually is tiny. And the first product that I'm gonna try on today is this Freeman French Pink Clay Peel Off Mask. I'm actually really, really excited about that, but I'm kind of scared because usually good mask costs good amount of money and we got here a huge product and it retails for $4.29 at Ulta and it's kind of scary. But the packaging is super cute. Look at this, guys. So it said here, boost your skincare routine with this peel-off mask. French pink clay removes impurities and detoxifies pores, leaving a smooth and glowing complexion. Perfect for normal to combination skin. And I have dry skin type plus sensitive. Okay. So from what I read, I got the information that Pink clay is a very mild combination of red and white clays and it's supposed to be good for dry and sensitive skin so I guess we will see. I'm kind of... I don't like these experiments for my skin because my skin doesn't like it but I told you we will try this so let's do this. So it said here that we need to apply to clean dry face, avoiding eye area, eyebrows, hairline and lips when dry peel from outer edges and rings. You know guys, that's actually really scary. I'm just checking here ingredients and first ingredient is water obviously and second one is alcohol. Third one is alcohol. I guess let's do this. Um, right now I'm kind of really really against of this because alcohol and my sensitive skin, I don't know, can it actually help, can it do something good or it will do the opposite and will actually give me breakouts. I hope it will not happen. It smells good, it smells kind of like a roses but oh that, that's actually strong. Okay guys, so let's try to apply this. I just washed my face so let's do this. I'm just using my finger. It has a texture of regular clay mask. You know, if you're familiar with clay mask, you will know what I'm talking about. Oh, 
Okay, we're looking shiny and glamorous, guys. And then it said here to wait 10-15 minutes. Hey, Google, set alarm for 10 minutes. Done. Your alarm set for 3.31 p.m. And I will see you guys in 10 minutes. Okay, guys, so I came back and uh, I just washed my face after this French pink clay mask. And what can I tell? So first of all, when I applied this, it felt really nice. It felt like a clay mask, you know. There was some point when it dried out and uh, my face felt so dry. And uh, I mean, that's a mask, you know, this is what you're getting. If it's a pillow mask, you know what I mean? Uh, so it's not sticky at all. It feels pretty decent on the skin. But right now, after washing this off my face, I feel like my cheek area is burning i don't know what's going on right now and there are like baby bumps here <laughs> i'm assuming i'm getting irritation it's getting worse and worse like every minute you can see that there are something going on here and uh, i can almost guarantee you that that's that alcohol that you can read here that's like second ingredient on the list so would i recommend this mask no, I don't think so. Will I use it again? I really, really doubt it. My skin is so dry and just it doesn't feel good. Sorry, it doesn't feel good. I don't know how you can get some advantages from this mask. I don't know. It smells good. Nice pink color. That's it. That's it. I'm really, really excited about this second product. It's a vintage cosmetic makeup removing cloth. And we have two of them here. Let me show you guys them. So look at this. Look at this animal print. There's a label that said use this side to exfoliate. It looks kind of cute. It's really soft. And uh, this is what actually your face needs. Your face doesn't need to have harsh stuff on it and definitely not for cleansing that's for sure the packaging is really really cute apparently we could get 25 percent off here but not anymore guys i can't find the same packaging online to show you guys the actual price but i found packaging that consists of three clothes and they retails for 11.45 euros and also it's a british brand so maybe that's why I have a really hard time looking for the price and everything. It said here that uh, each makeup removing cloth in this Wild Duo pack will remove every inch of makeup using only a splash of water. The specially formulated polyester is dual-sided for both makeup removal and exfoliation, so you'll always be fresh-faced and squeaky clean. So it said also here that we need to use the warm water to wet the makeup removing cloth. So I'm gonna go wet this makeup removing cloth and I will be right back. Okay guys, so I came back and I have this makeup removing cloth wet and I want to use this for my face right now. It feels really soft. I'd say that it would remove makeup. Kind of nice feeling, especially Think about that, you're using washcloth that was under warm water, it's like, it's so relaxing. Oh, there is mask. <laughs> so I wanted to use this cloth actually to remove any excess of that mask, because I don't know, did I wash it too good? So it feels nice actually, I like it and it's better for environment and I really really appreciate this. I think this product actually is really really cool and I'm kind of really excited to keep using this. So I'm sure guys that uh, you will hear from me more comments about this product because I'm really getting into using this. I'm getting the whole vibe of this because it's way better to use this makeup removing cloth than disposable wipes, you know what I mean? And uh, I'm on board, you know, I'm definitely on board with that. So that's a cool thing to try. And now guys, I'm thinking let me apply makeup and uh, let's keep trying these products because I got some makeup products that I want to try, but I need to have some base for this. So let me apply my base and we will try on another products from this glossy box. My 
my poor cheeks guys I don't know what's going on that alcohol it just it's drying my cheeks crazy amount and oh yeah, I just feel like that mask why would you want to use it on your face you know especially when you have dry or sensitive skin guys I just applied my base and now I want to apply some product that I'm really really curious about I've never tried this I've heard a lot about products like that but I've never actually tried this and we're not going to even apply this to our face and that's insane this is the patch from the good patch it's a premium hemp infused patch that's called Be Calm. This baby retails for $12. Come on! I mean, what? So it said here that containing 15 milligrams of hemp and menthol. This patch will ensure you're calm throughout the day, relieving feelings of stress and anxiety. It's natural, simple and totally discreet. So we need to stick patch on the inside of our wrist and leave on as desired for up to 12 hours. We can't use it on a damaged skin. Guys, honestly, I'm so curious how it's gonna look. So here's the packaging. Let's try this out. So let's open this. Oh! I didn't expect to see the square shape. I thought it's like, you know, like a band-aid or something. I don't know. But here's how it looks. It doesn't have any smell. So I took it off and I'm gonna put this on my wrist. So from now on, guys, this video will be super calm and no anxiety, no depression. Guys, no, no. Can you actually see this? It's almost like my skin, but I mean a little bit more yellow because I'm really pale. But I don't know, can you actually see guys? Because I feel like it's really hard even for me to see this. Okay, let's see, will we feel some changes or no? But anyway, we've tried this product and we will talk about this at the end of the video. Okay guys, so I applied my base and now I want to apply another product on our eyes that I got in this glossy box. And this is Cargo Cosmetics Swimmables Longwear Eyeshadow Stick. And I really like the packaging, honestly, guys. I don't know how it's gonna work. I'm not a big fan of eyeshadow sticks because I have hooded eyes and uh, eyeshadow sticks usually creasing on me big time. So let's hope it won't happen with this eyeshadow stick. I'm kind of resistant, you know what I mean? But the packaging is really cool. Look at this. So it said here that this water-resistant creamy eyeshadow is exactly what we need as the weather warms up. The high-coverage pigment will last all day through sweat, swim and tears, so you don't have to worry about smudging, smearing and reapplying. So at Walmart you can purchase this eyeshadow stick for $17.55 and on Amazon from Cargo Cosmetics, actually from a brand, you can purchase this by paying $20. You know the general price, you know what I mean? It's just 
1820 bucks and I have a shade it's called Botany Bay and uh, let me show you the color it's really pretty nude shade it probably would be really cool looking lipstick I really love these shades of lipsticks they're like really really cool looking so it's supposed to be a crease proof water resistant eyeshadow stick and it has to have really creamy formula so it gives high coverage and it's applying really easily and I'm about to try this on our eyelids so I'm just applying this I'm telling you guys, lipstick in this shade would be so cool. I don't know about a shadow stick. Guys, I have to wash my brushes. After all that colorful eye looks, my brushes are so dirty. So I'm just blending this here. You know what, guys? It's not bad, actually. Let me use my finger, maybe it will be better. Looks so nice. Wow. So my eyelids were so dry and I was kind of scared about this product that it will stay on the top of this dry skin but it's actually melted. Wow, that's really pretty. You can slightly see the difference but what I'm talking about is that nude shade. Such a gorgeous nude shade, come on. Also applying this to our little lash line. It's like when you have jaw or when you're going to school and you want to just emphasize your eyes but not really go over the board, you know what I mean? It looks like a really cool product. I didn't expect to be excited about that. I still feel like my finger is doing like amazing job. Wow. Just my suggestion, apply this with your finger. It's melting and eyelids look so good. I hope it will not crease on me. This shade is so beautiful. I, I didn't expect to love it. Maybe this patch is actually doing this, that I'm like falling in love with this product. But I feel like it looks so good and I really, really, really like it. If you want something like natural looking, if you want just a little bit of the color to emphasize your eyes, like when you have pale skin like I do, I mean, this is a really cool product. I feel like it would be a really good base for eyeshadows or some glitter, I would add some glitter here. I'm not gonna do this today just because I want to see how it's gonna wear by itself. But it's a little bit sticky because probably I apply it too much, but I wanted this kind of coverage, but I mean, so far so good. Okay guys, the next product that I'm gonna talk about is for our eyes as well. This is Nourishing Mascara from Butanic Beauty that looks like that. Here's actually how product looks. Guys, I love the pastel blue shade. Packaging is adorable, right? I hope mascara is good. So let's check the applicator. And ooh, there is a fat applicator. Look at this. Not a big fan of applicators like that because it's giving me a hard time applying this on my eyes and usually, I mean, mascara with applicator like that is just getting all over my eyelids. I don't know why, it's just happening. So it retails for $19.90 and it's enriched with almond oil and camellia oil. So guys, let's try this out and let's try to give at least some volume to our eyelashes because today we went into some super natural look by applying just a shadow stick. Actually, it's not so sticky anymore, so maybe it was just because it had to dry out a little bit longer. So let's apply this mascara. So hard to apply this, I don't know. I feel like it's not spreading the product. Wow, this brush is actually dry. Look at this, that's insane. So the tip of the applicator is wet, is covered with this product, but the brush is dry. It's like, what, why? I mean, I'm assuming there is no product in the tube or let me shake it just in case. I don't know what's going on. I'm literally using just the tip of this brush. 
because it's the only place where I feel like product is. Oh no, guys, it's no go for me. I can't. It's just look at my lashes. It's just hilarious. So let me use my mascara and I will be right back. Literally, just to build at least some volume on my eyelashes because it's so insane to see myself like that. I mean... No. no guys, I'm sitting and uh, thinking about all those mascaras that I got in uh, different subscription boxes and I'm thinking that, you know, the only one mascara that I actually really enjoyed using and still enjoying it was my Tarte Man Eater mascara and I got this in uh, BoxyCharm, I believe December BoxyCharm, just correct me if I'm wrong, but it's just such a good mascara and everything else that I was getting in the subscription boxes that was supposed to be a good volumizing mascara I mean, never felt that way and it's really upsetting because all these beautiful tubes and you know the way how they present in their product, it just, it's really cool. I mean, I'd love to get a good product in this beautiful tube, but I guess it's just not happening with me. I mean, maybe this mascara is good mascara. I don't know, I just didn't feel that way because I love volume. I love volume and I don't love when you need to build your volume using the tip of your brush or when you can't build it good and you need to sit like for 15 minutes just to take care of your eyelashes it just it sounds insane you know i mean i don't know tell me guys what do you think about this whole situation because i feel like even this patch doesn't help me to calm down when i'm talking about mascara and i'm when I'm talking about good volume, you know what I mean? The price can be just insane and people actually paying this price and then just, you know, all this frustration and everything. I need to make a TV show, let's talk about mascaras and volume. <laughs> you know, I'm so like frustrated every time when I'm getting like a bad mascara and it's so hard to build the volume that I want. It just, I don't know, I feel like I need like 5 billion of these patches to calm me down. Anyway, let me take care of my lips and let's talk about last product from this glossy box. guys and now let's talk about the last product from this glossy box and this is NCLA Los Angeles nail polish and it's called we're off to never never land that's so cute look at this shade so it retails for $16 and uh, it has really gorgeous purple color and guys I actually have done my nails and I don't want to ruin them so I'm thinking that I will apply this shade to my toenails and uh, I will probably take a picture or something if I will do this. Is it actually appropriate? I don't know guys, I feel like we're friends here, right? And friends share with each other their beauty routine, even if those are toenails, right? Yeah, just like that. If I will actually do this, I will take a picture for you and uh, it will appear somewhere in this video. Okay guys, and that's it for today. Today we were doing a lot of things. We were applying mask, we applied patch for our wrist. We tried new makeup products and I think it was a fun video to film. Hopefully it was fun for you to watch. And uh, this glossy box that I got finally was actually pretty decent. So let's talk shortly about this products. So the first product that we were trying is this Freeman French Pink Clay Peel-Off Mask and uh, just for a general feeling on my skin and uh, for ingredients list I'm saying no to this because guys I don't know what was going on I felt like my cheeks were on fire and cheeks are really really sensitive area I don't know I mean I I do know what's happened because literally second ingredient in this clay mask is alcohol so I'd say I wouldn't purchase this there are a lot of good clay masks on the market if you want to like play with this if you want to have some mask just try something better 
and something that will not irritate your skin, especially when you have sensitive skin and uh, it just it just no go. I'm sorry, it's just no go. Next product is this makeup removing cloth, and uh, I feel like it's kind of exciting thing for me because I'm definitely gonna use them. They are very soft, and uh, I'm kind of curious how this side that same to exfoliate will work. It has a really cute print and I feel like everything about this is giving me a nice positive vibe. If something will change, I will let you know, guys, like always. Okay, guys, and the next product is this patch from The Good Patch. Honestly, I felt like it's a really cool thing. I felt kind of like, I don't know, relaxed. I'd say, but it's been like almost an hour since I'm using this and I feel like it's kind of starting to burn. I don't know what's gonna happen next. It's like, uh, it's giving me some kind of uncomfortable feeling. I don't know what's up with that. Uh, my skin wasn't damaged here. Like it said, don't apply on a damaged skin. But I feel like it's kind of a cool product, really different, and I've never tried something like that. So I'd say to hold on on this for a while, because I really need to know what's gonna happen next after this burning feeling. If it's gonna get worse, then it's no go. If it's just will go away, then I would deal with this, you know? The next product that we tried is this Cargo Cosmetics eyeshadow stick and uh, my eyelids look so good. There are zero creasing and I'm really impressed. And I feel like this shade that's giving you just tiny amount of coverage it's just something that you definitely need when you work in some office type of job, you know what I mean? Or you're going to school and you can't use like bright makeup, but you can use this eyeshadow stick and it's really, really good product. Uh, one tip for you guys, try to apply this with your finger. Like at first apply this to your eyelid and then blend it with your finger and the body heat will help you to blend this product like perfectly. Like I'm so excited about this product and uh, I'm not excited at all about this mascara, even though the packaging is extremely cute. I don't like it at all. I feel like spending 20 bucks for this, I don't know. I don't know what's happened because, guys, you could see that my whole applicator was just dry and there was a product on the tip of the applicator. It's either this brush doesn't reach to the product or it's just, I don't know, I couldn't build the coverage that I like, I couldn't build the volume, it's just no go for me, I know that I'm not gonna use it and uh, if you try this mascara, if you like this, please let me know how does your product look in general, just I, I'd love to know this guys. And the last product, right? Did we talk about everything? I feel like we talked about everything except of this nail polish from NCLA Los Angeles. And uh, like I said, I'm gonna try this, maybe this week, I don't know, if I will try this like today, tomorrow-ish, then I will add a picture to my video, or if I will not do this on these days, and then I will tell you about my experience in another video type of thing. Anyway, I like the color, color is really good and really rich, my toenails are ready for some new color. Okay, guys. And that's it for today. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, hopefully you enjoyed these products. I felt like it was a really fun video to film and uh, I feel like if you're wondering how these products are working, it was probably really fun for you to watch as well. Overall, I feel like it was kind of interesting and different box. I'm still wearing this patch, so I feel like it was really cool, right? Products were really, really different and uh, I'm kind of excited to get these products. Even though I had such a big problem with this glossy box in general. I mean, that happens, okay? Nothing can be perfect. It's just so sad that it was my first experience. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and uh, subscribe to my channel if you still haven't. I'm trying to keep in touch with really exciting launches, with exciting subscription boxes. 
to always let you know what's going on around and if you have some suggestions please let me know what would you like to see on my channel is there a specific product or specific subscription that you want me to get i'd love to do this for you guys i love to make videos that you would love to watch and uh, i'm always honest with you as you can tell so it's so exciting for me to try and uh, i hope it's exciting for you to see my first reaction and to hear my first thoughts about products so yeah if you want to be notified about my future videos please make sure to hit the notification bell and follow me on instagram because usually i post there uh, different questions i'm asking european guys and it's always more additional information on my page so yeah thank you for staying with me today i will see you in my next videos love you bye